What's going on guys, Jeff here from Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 easy to keep corals. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. This week we're going to be talking about the top 10 easy to keep corals, so let's jump into it. Alright folks, so the first couple of things that we're going to be talking about when you're talking about easy to keep corals is being within the recommended parameters. Now some people can say that yeah, my parameters are a little out of whack but my tank is doing fine. And that's probably due to the consistency within the tank. The tank's established. It's been around for a while, but ultimately having the recommended parameters in check and stability is going to give you a good foundation for a successful reef tank. Now this top 10 list is going to consist of soft corals, LPS and SPS corals that are easy to keep. So let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the Recordia. Now the Recordia is a soft coral and when we talk about soft and LPS and SPS corals, soft corals don't have any skeleton at all. They reside within the mushroom family. They prefer low to medium flow, more on the low side. And as far as lighting goes, they actually prefer that moderate lighting. Now, the reason that this coral falls in our top 10 list is for the colorations that it provides alone. And not only are the colors absolutely phenomenal, or you're talking about your yellows, your greens, your blues, your oranges, it has different morphs within the same colors, which is absolutely phenomenal. It adds a tremendous amount of color to the tank. And it's not like other mushrooms where sometimes they can actually blend into the tank. You don't even see them. They almost look like they're a part of the rock work. These guys are going to stand out and stand out substantially. Absolutely beautiful coral coming in at number 10. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the Pavona coral. The Pavona coral is also known as the cactus coral or the potato chip. And that's really referring to its growth pattern. As you can see here in this picture, it comes in a couple of different colors. Uh, I think the most stunning of them is the blue variety. And it really has a very interesting growth pattern. It does well in moderate to high flow as well as moderate to high lighting. And the reason that this coral is on our top 10 list, even though it's an SPS coral, is that it is extremely hardy and it's very forgiving. So that makes it a great beginner SPS coral. And another great thing about this coral is you're not going to break the bank to get it into the tank because the more money you save on coral, the more money you can spend on coral, right? Coming in at number eight on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the hammer coral. This is probably one of my most favorite corals currently. And this is a coral that I didn't buy until very late into my time in the hobby. I actually, I think I bought my first hammer coral about a year ago. And I've been doing this for uh, almost 12 years now. That's a pretty long time to go without a very easy to keep coral. They are absolutely beautiful. They bring a lot of motion to the tank. And as far as their requirements, they prefer that moderate flow. It's a coral that you don't want to pound with a lot of flow. And if you see that the flesh is starting to roll up or that you can actually see the base of the flesh and the skeleton meeting, it's probably a little too much flow for this coral. It does prefer that medium lighting. And there's some issues with this coral. If it doesn't get enough flow, it actually can have a jelly or a red slime build up on it. And that is a good sign that this coral is not getting enough flow at that point. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the Blasto. The Blasto is very similar to, or I guess in appearance, it's very similar to a mushroom, but it's not. It's actually an LPS coral. It has a skeleton and a little bit of a stalk which it's great that it has that stalk because it actually makes it a really good candidate for fragging. And if you're getting into fragging, this is a really good coral to start with. As far as coloration, there's some really interesting colors out there. Uh, it does have some really deep, beautiful reds, but there's also some purples and some greens out there that are really phenomenal. When you are talking about the requirements of this coral, it wants that medium to low flow. It prefers to be in the bottom section of the tank 
And as far as lighting goes, it wants that moderate lighting. As far as the price point on this coral, it's relatively inexpensive. I've seen them as low as $10 to $15, and that is a pretty good buy, especially for an LPS coral. Coming in at number six on our top 10 easy to keep corals, don't adjust your dials. That's right, it's the Pom Pom Xenia. This is quite possibly the most loved and hated coral in the reef keeping hobby. If you're brand new to the hobby and you have walked into a local fish store and you've seen that little pulsing action that it has, especially when the flow of the tank is really, really low, you were probably absolutely blown away by this coral and absolutely needed it, had to have it. Now, if you've been in this hobby for any length of time, you probably absolutely despise this coral. All that aside, it is probably one of the most hardy corals that are available to us in the reef keeping hobby. This soft coral prefers low to moderate flow and low to moderate lighting and really can be placed just about anywhere in the tank. The word of caution with that is it is a very aggressive coral that can overrun your tank. So I'd put it in a place that it can't or it's going to be incredibly hard for the coral to spread because it is known to overrun tanks. And that's why it's probably one of the most hated corals on this top 10 list. Coming in at number five on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the zoanthid. Now the zoanthid is probably one of the most hardy and easy to keep corals that is in the hobby period. It comes in a thousand different morphs and a thousand different colorations. It is a extremely hardy coral that can grow in just about any type of flow that can grow in any type of lighting. As far as price points go for this coral, it is all over the place. You could pay as little as $5 for a rock that is completely covered with zoanthids or pay a couple hundred dollars per polyp. It really is a coral that is for all level of hobbyists, for all level of collectors, and is a extremely resilient and easy to keep coral and that's why it's number five on our list coming in at number four on our top 10 easy to keep corals is another sps coral and it is the postilla pora now as far as sps corals go this is a easy to keep sps coral it comes in a number of different colors you can get it in greens you can get it in yellows pinks purples rainbow colors it prefers that strong flow like many SPS corals do and wants to be in that middle to top section of the reef tank. As far as price point goes with this coral, it really is easy on the wallet. It's a coral that you can often find from anywhere from $15 on up and it really depends on the variety of the coral. The green ones tend to be relatively inexpensive because they're pretty common, but those more elaborate colorations tend to be a little bit harder to find and bring a little bit higher of a price point. Coming in at number three on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the toadstool mushroom leather. This soft coral prefers moderate to high lighting and medium flow and really as far as placement can be just about anywhere in the tank. The one consideration that you need to make with this coral when you're talking about placement is how big this coral can actually get because they can get really, really big. All that aside, this coral is incredibly hardy. It is a relatively attractive coral, especially the ones that have the green polyp, at least for me anyways. I like the ones that have the green polyps. They are incredibly hardy. They're gorgeous. They can get really big. So if you're looking to grow some really decent sized corals in your tank, the toadstool mushroom leather might be the perfect coral for you. Coming in at number two on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the Scully. This LPS coral is incredibly easy to keep. It has a semi-aggressive temperament. It prefers moderate lighting, moderate flow, and wants to be on the bottom of the tank, especially in the sand bed. Now, I'm sure some of you are surprised that this coral is considered easy to keep. And that may be a relation to the price that's usually associated with this coral. They do bring a heavy price tag but that has more to do with the fact that this is a coral that is not easily aquacultured it is a coral that is harvested from the wild and depending on its rarity and how unique it is 
is what determines the price of the coral. I got my first scoli this past spring and I will never ever not have a scoli in my reef tank ever again. Coming in at number one on our top 10 easy to keep corals is the Duncan coral. This LPS coral is a great addition to any reef tank. It prefers that low to moderate lighting, wants to be in the middle to bottom section of the reef tank, and isn't going to bother any corals around it. Now, this is a coral that it took me a really long time to warm up to. It was actually one that I didn't really have much of an interest in for the good first five to eight years that I was in the hobby. They have great coloration. They have great movement. They have a really unique growth pattern. They don't take up a lot of space. They don't have a lot of requirements. They are a great coral to frag, and they have a decent price point. And that's why this coral is awesome when it comes to easy corals. And that's why it's number one on our top 10 list. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you back here next week with a brand new video.